I'm going to make a super easy tomato sauce for pasta, or anything else for that matter. Uh, it's one that I make very frequently. It's a recipe that's really adaptable and you can add your own spin on it. I'm going to do it with chorizo today. So I'm going to heat my pan up and I'm going to use, I think this is 250 gram piece of chorizo, I'm going to use about half of it. What I love about it is it re releases this fantastically fragrant oil because of all the spices in it. Um, the pasta. So I'm going to heat that up, I'm going to put it higher actually, and then when it starts to crisp and release that kind of lovely orange oil, I'm going to add a bit of garlic. I've got some nice big fat cloves of garlic. And I'm going to just cut the ends off. It can be a bit fiddly getting the skins off sometimes, but I just put the knife on top of the clove of garlic and give it a bash. And that tends to just loosen skin up, up so it just slides off. I'm going to leave those to crisp up a little bit on both sides. Add a nice glug of olive oil. And then fry the garlic whole. You want the garlic really to sort of start a tiny bit of brown on both sides. And it's really there as a flavouring um, to the oil. I'm going to prep my tomatoes. So you can peel them if you want. If you don't like peel in your sauce, I'm using about 200, 250 grams per person. So I used to make a tomato sauce recipe and it was lots of onion chopping and carrots and celery and um, my mum showed me this recipe and it's just amazingly quick and easy. And fresh ground pepper. So you just leave that, do a bit of tidying up, um, set the table, get your pasta on. The trick about pasta, cooking pasta, is you've got to make sure the water is really boiling. Um, I'm using something called Fiorelli, you can use any pasta that you like, or spaghetti. And then once it's in, you've got to make sure that you stir it, otherwise it all clumps together. So we just have to wait for the pasta to cook, and then we're done. You don't have to serve the garlic with it if you don't want, but my family love it. Just going to add a little bit of torn basil, a couple of leaves. Bit of grated parmesan. So there you go, ready to eat and all in about 20 minutes.